What is Bitcoin? Uh, you all, this is why you're here. Bitcoin is why you're here. Bitcoin is why we give a damn about cryptocurrency, right? Um, Bitcoin is the OG. It's the originator. It's what started everything here. Bitcoin's this logo here. Uh, I don't work for Bitcoin, but you know I'm rocking a T-shirt because um, Bitcoin deserves that reverence because it started the whole industry, right? And what is it? It's the world's introduction to crypto on blockchain. When did it start? It started in 2008. Bitcoin blockchain was first introduced introduced in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto in the Bitcoin white paper. This is a, this is a a screenshot of the white paper. Um, it is the document that introduced Bitcoin. It was introduced in a chat room, right? So the, you had 2008. Let's go back to 2008. 2008, you had a financial crisis. You had Lehman Brothers, one of the premier investment banks in the world, went bankrupt um, because they levered way too much. Uh, on the in mortgage-backed securities, you had Bear Stearns being sold uh, at a discount to J.P. Morgan. You had tons of people buy, um, losing their homes. You had tons of people losing their jobs. Um, you had tons of people that were in, in incredibly stressful, precarious decisions. Uh, and and the source of it was uh, the banking system that encouraged people to take out loans on houses they cannot afford. Uh, they forged uh, and manipulated people's loan applications in a way that allowed them to get mortgages that exceeded what they uh, should afford. And that just pushed up house values to a point where it didn't make sense. It pushed out, it, it pushed up um, loans in a way that it couldn't make sense. And it was all made possible by Wall Street. I mean, Wall Street, was um you know the reason why this thing happens because wall street created a system where you can the person that issued the loan doesn't have to hold the loan so if you want to give your your friend or family member a loan and you know that person is bad about paying back then you would hesitate to give them the loan but if you know you can take that loan and pass it to somebody else like hot potato then you wouldn't care. You would actually, and you can, if you can make money through the issuance of these loans, you're gonna do that as much as you can. Um, and so that's kind of the backdrop of 2008. You know, again, you know, I'm gonna sound biased. I sound like I'm anti Wall Street, anti banking. I actually worked at Lehman Brothers at the time. I remember this time very, very um, intimately. But you know, it's not. There's no secret that Wall Street caused a lot of pain, um, and. You had a, comp- a group of individuals, um, Satoshi Nakamoto I- included, that wanted to work on a system that was not dependent on this um, industry that was, quite frankly, um, extracting from the world but not adding to it, right? So who the hell is Satoshi Nakamoto? Nobody knows who the person is. The person chose to remain anonymous. The person, it could be a he, it could be a she, it could be a group of people. Um, they're part of an online community. When they introduced the white paper, we're there for people to ask questions, um, perform some transactions, and test it out. Um, but they disappeared in April of 2011, and nobody knows um, who created it. And, you know, it sounds crazy that you're going to have this huge industry that's built on the back of somebody that disappeared or a group of people that disappeared. Um, but this is what it is, right? I mean, I, I don't, I, I can't tell you who created the internet right now, but we use it. I can't tell you, I cannot tell you who, um, a lot of people that started major religions that people follow in the world um, illustrates that there are large movements, religions included, governments included, and now money or digital currency that are driven uh, by leadership that may or may not, uh, that many people do not know who the leaders are, were around when they were around, etc. Um, so crypto is no different. But yeah, obviously, it's odd. And, and, and I'll be the first one to admit that. Right? 
So again, let's go back to what is what is Bitcoin? It's a peer-to-peer electronic caches, right? It's electronic cash. What we said in our in our first portion portion of this module, we talked about Venmo, Cash App, um, WeChat, etc. These are electronical currencies that allow send people to send money between each other. Bitcoin is the same, but Bitcoin does not have Venmo is owned by PayPal. It does not have a PayPal there. Cash App is owned by Square. It does not have a Square there. Zelle is owned by a consortium of banks. It, those people don't exist. All you, you have it, it's, it's peer to peer. It's me to you, mano a mano, mano. Right? And so it, it, this is a little bit more about the white paper. White paper is something that you actually can um, access, right? So if you go to bitcoin.org, forward slash bitcoin that pdf you can actually see the white paper right um i'll link to it um but basically it it's a technical document it's basically a technical document that um breaks down how it works uh how the technology works how it's secure um and again, we can just read one part of it, the conclusion, right? So we we have proposed a system for electronic direct transactions without relying on trust, without relying on a middleman. We started with the usual framework of current coins made from digital signatures, which provides strong control of ownership, but it's incomplete without a way to prevent double standing, double spending. To solve this, we proposed a computer pill network using proof of work. We'll get into that, but he's breaking down, the, he's introducing the blockchain at that moment. So again, it's this. Uh, I, I want to keep talking about this because this is where everything started, right? It's a purely peer-to-peer version of electronic cash that would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through a financial institution. It's like PayPal. PayPal I can send money from my. I buy I buy something from somebody on eBay. I can use PayPal to pay them. PayPal allows me to do it. But PayPal is in the middle. Not only is PayPal in the middle my bank account or my credit cards in the middle right because you cannot use paypal without uh hooking in another institution so you have multiple institutions in that between me and that other party but guess what with bitcoin i do not need to do that right next we're going to talk about the blockchain bitcoin and blockchain